Well, welcome back to the travel in Daba, Francis, and the viewers back at home. And yes, I was saying that, you know, there's so much happening on the ground. We heard the minister's speech, Patricia De Lille, earlier this morning. Um, we heard her speak emphatically about the tourism sector and how we've really bounced back after COVID-19, the COVID-19 pandemic in the country, but also uh, um, in the rest of the African continent and really calling on people um, to invest more and to, uh, you know, showcase their products. There are many buyers that have come from all over Africa to see what's on display in South Africa, but also on the African continent. And I was saying that, you know, we've been taking a walk through many of the exhibitions and one that really caught my mind, Francis, I'm going to ask uh, Rajapan Matabula just to show you guys back at home, is this device that you're seeing right now. It actually takes tourists on a virtual experience. And I'm going to try and see if we can squeeze in a word from this gentleman here. And find out what exactly is he seeing? So you're live on SEDC News. Can you give us your name? And where are you from? Okay, my name is Andy from Accra, Ghana. I'm a buyer and I'm enjoying this experience. It's so lifelike, you know. I'm actually walking through the rain now, you know. <laughs> I'm walking through, you know. Oh, I'm in a cave. Can you? This is so nice. I mean, it's a wonderful experience. And I'm glad I did this, okay, you know. Tell us, Andy, um, you have been obviously also yes, walking yes. about, and as a buyer, um, what really has stood out for you from some of the exhibitions here? Um, basically, it's a platform where we can get partnerships from Africa, where we come from. We have lots of people looking for all kinds of um, tourist experience or tourism experiences. So once we come here, this platform provides us with suppliers, um, anybody in the industry that we can connect with to give our people the necessary experience that they are paying for. So this is, this is just wonderful. Andy, before I let you go, what are you seeing right now? Oh, right now I'm in the chalets, close to the chalets. You know, <laughs> I can see the, ah, the mountains are here now. Ah, wonderful weather. The scenery oh, is beautiful, it's beautiful. And I, I need to actually do this myself. In person, Andy, in this person. time. Yes. I'm going to let you in, carry on enjoying your experience. And I'm going to now ask Musa Ndambo here as Mbelo Wildlife KZN uh, manager so to talk about this new device. Obviously, you guys have been coming to the Traveling Dabba for so many years. At uh, this time, bringing this special device to roping uh, more people to your store. Talk to us about it. Yeah, what happened is uh, you remember a few years ago we had COVID. So COVID stopped people from traveling. So people haven't been to uh, Ukashamba areas. So now what we are doing, we are bringing the Ukashamba to the people on our stand here, as in Velo stand. What you have here, what they will see, they will see seven wonders of uh, Ukashamba Dragon Spirit Mountain. They will see the Mike's Pass, they will see the Tukela Gorge, Tukela Falls, Chaika Falls, Cascades, and many others that you will see on this device here. The idea is maybe say, once they've seen this one, we'll create an interest in them for them to go now and in person now and visit our areas in Ukashamba Tangispec Mountains. If we look at those particular areas in northern KwaZulu Natal and the tourism, and like you said, recovering from COVID-19, how has the, you know, uh, uh, how has it improved in those particular parts of KZN? It's improving, uh, maybe say on monthly basis, but when it was, it was improving, we then had floods, which maybe say damaged some of our facilities, but it's also improving right now. We are getting bookings uh, for maybe say up until say June or so. We are fully booked in, in some of our areas. Thank you, Musa. I'll leave you to it as you showcase this device and take many of the tourists that have come to the Africa Travel in Daba on a virtual tour of some of the areas in Isambelo, Kaiser and Wildlife that they can possibly potentially come and see. And also, this is a draw card for many people. You have seen the stand really having long lines as people want to come, Francis, and experience all that Kaiser has to offer. Well, I'll link back to an ad break and we'll leave it there.